Hello, fellow Mega Tennis, and welcome to another episode of Fusion Accidents, a short video series where I talk about short things shortly. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bitty topic that I had on my mind for some time. Art is cool, and if you've ever been to an art gallery of either a living artist or a dead one, or even on DeviantArt, you know that artists have a tendency to name their art. Much to my surprise, Cosmoconico is the same way. And I say surprise because, well, he's the only artist at Atlas that's ever done that. And why does naming art even matter? Well, I looked it up on Google and Helen South from liveabout.com tells us why. Choosing a good title for your art piece says something about the drawing and painting and what it means to you and gives the viewer a clue about what it means to them or what it should mean. Some famous examples of this is Girl with a Pearl Earring and you know what that's all about, right? And also there's bad artist names like Jackson Pollock's number five. The name of art pieces can be powerful. So let's talk about Cosmoconico's art. It seems the trend started in the late 90s going through Digital Devil Apocalypse or DDA. Conico named this piece Fallen Angel Lucifer. I love it because the Lucifer design was inspired by David Bowie. He's got six good wings, six evil wings, which is relevant because that was something to do with Conico's overall narrative plan for Shin Megami Tensei. This one features Belial and Metatron photobashed. It was done by Megumu Shireishi and Kazuma Kaneko, and it's called Visions. This one was done for a cover of a magazine that I could not find anywhere. It's called Emerge. This if piece is called If, and it's supposed to depict the last day before things went down in If Town. Here's a really good one. It's called Apocrypha, which is fitting since it depicts Satan and Lucifer, among other things. I love Lucifer's, like, moon cast shadow. It's another photo bash. Apocrypha means, you know, things that aren't canon to the Bible, so like Trinity Souls to Persona. The cover of Devil Summoner is simply called D Summoner. This piece is called Sophia and was done by Cosmo Conico and Zoijima, which is interesting. And this piece is a 3D model of a gump that was apparently done by Conico. It's also called Gump. Then there's this great piece by Sojima and Conico called Call Me By My Name, drawn in 1996. And then there's this great piece featuring Ray Reho and Kyoji Kuzanoa, Kyoji, and it's called Devil Summoner, not to be confused with D Summoner. That's a separate piece. <laughs> Next is Adventure, followed by Kyoji and Obadion, and Ray and Devil Flower. These were for a version of Devil Summoner where you could buy it via some sort of lottery, apparently. This one is called Bath Time. I like it because it was drawn for the PC Devil Summoner CD-ROM. Stray Cat was drawn for the Devil Summoner book, Sealed Soul. This one is called Summoner Family and was drawn for a Saturn fan magazine. Enemies, spelled Y-S for some reason, was drawn for DDSnet magazines. If you watched my DDSnet video, you can learn about it or you can just click the annotation. Princess Inanna was drawn for the Devil Summoner novel. This one is about the origins of the Rei Reho family line. I haven't read it sadly, but it has one of my favorite pieces of conical art. Drawn by Kaneko and colored and finished by Soijima. This is Net Crisis, drawn for Dengeki Sega Saturn, for the cover. These two pieces are funny to me because, well, they feature Nemesa and Hitomi, and they're called that. One features them looking very uncomfortable with no neck, and the other is them naked, and they have too much neck, and they look peaceful. It was drawn for the cover of a novel. This was drawn for a telephone card, and it's called Nemesa, even though it has Nemesa and Hitomi. Gogo Captain was drawn for the Soul Hackers OST. Techno Magic, spelled T-E-C-N-O, was drawn for a magazine called Game Criticism. This one is called Simon Congo and was designed for a t-shirt which had four different colors. Now, one of my favorite pieces ever. Behind the Mask. This was made for the box art of Persona 1, a simple and effective way of illustrating the Persona theme. Mayoi was drawn for a novel cover, Shadow Maze, and Dolls was made for the Dengeki PlayStation cover. Friends was drawn for the Persona Club book, and Expression was drawn for PlayStation Magazine. The expression described is the Persona being revealed. Persona was drawn for promo material, another photo bash, which is rare for Kaneko at this point, and it is one of the last pieces Kaneko drew by himself. Lunatics was drawn for promo materials, but specifically for the series of art posters for Persona 1. Innocent Sin, Literally, yes, it's called Innocent Sin, is the cover for the Persona 2 in Japan, and unsurprisingly, 
is where the name Innocence in comes from, whereas the name of the game is called Persona 2 Sumi in Japan, which Sumi just refers to a violation of religious or social rules. This is one called Persona 2 and was drawn for in-store promo posters. It was also later reused for the PSP release cover art. This one is called Enemy of Mine, and it was a poster given away for pre-ordering the game. The final piece of DDA art is called Velvet Room. It was used for a magazine advertising. Whew. Okay, let's name some stuff by game. Some of the names were things that my friend Frank got by quite literally asking Atlas via email a long time ago. Some were from my friend B, who was digging through the files and found them that way. Some are from the art exhibitions that Conoco did at some point. Some of them from my sleuthing, and some of them are just found in obvious places. SMT1. This one's called Advancing Army. It was used for Cosmo Conoco Works Volume 1. It's cool. This one is called First Gate. It was used for the PSX release of Shimigami Tensei 1's cover art. This one's called Zero City. It was made for promotional posters. This is Shimigami Tensei if we're talking about it now. This one's called Another Gate. It's a good pick. It was made for the PSX cover art. And this one's called New Order. It was used for promotional posters. Okay, now let's talk about Shimigami Tensei 2. This one's called Advent. It was used in the Conical Works Volume 2. This is one of my favorite pieces of Conical art ever. It's called Glory of Kingdom. It was used for promotional posters. Now, SMT3 has probably the most, the only things that it can compete with is probably Persona 1 and Digital Devil Saga if you're looking at Conoco art. So these are trickier, so yeah, bear with me. This one's called Assembly of Nihilo, according to Atlas West. This one's called Birth. It's made for a promo poster and also it was shown in a Comicers magazine where Conoco explained his art process. It was also used for the manual for the vanilla release. Birth has a companion piece called Death. It was used for the manual for Maniacs, and it was also used in promotional posters. Devil Hearts was a super early illustration made when the game was still in development. I've not had a whole lot of luck of finding out what it was used for, but I've seen it used in the Cosmoconical World Exhibitions. This is called Hyaki Yagyo, or Night Parade of 100 Demons. It's Kaneko's depiction of the famous folklore idiom. It was used for a book and also given away as a prize via lottery. Mantra Army is the name of this one. I have no idea what it's used for. And this one is called a Nocturne, used in, used in Cosmoconical Works Volume 3. And also this one's called Reason. It was used for a magazine and promotion. This one is called Reverse Tokyo. It was included in a magazine as a double-sided poster with the other side featuring Devil Hearts. This one is called Vortex and was used somewhere. Okay, Persona stuff. This is called Cybernetic Persona. It was used for promotion. Lunatics was used for a promotion set. Mayoi and Piano was used for the same set. And Eternal Punishment was used for a promotion. Okay, Machin, we're almost done. So, Erosion was used in the magazine immediately. I'm not sure, but here it is. Main was used in a strategy guide, and a variation of it was used in the Japanese box art. Machin and K, I don't know. Mix was used in the Western box art. Restraint was used for the OST. The last big piece I wanted to talk about is called Traffic. This was used in the Digital Devil Story of Megami Tensei 10th Anniversary Book and features various characters from the franchise. There's tons of art that I couldn't find the names for and frankly, I will I don't know if I'll ever find the names. Um, if you guys know any of the names, then you can go ahead and let me know. As for video updates, I'm still working on my Shin Megami Tensei 5 video. I'm still working on my Arena video. I'm still working on my Sojima video. I'm juggling a lot, basically. It didn't help that my computer decided to break down. It didn't help that Elden Ring also decided to come out. So yeah, thanks for the patience. Thanks for watching. Thanks from software for Elden Ring. <laughs> if you know any of the names of these pieces that I didn't name here and care to share them, let me know in the comments. And also just let me know if you want to name stuff your own way. I'm going to call this one Mud Dolls and I'm going to call this one Demon Days and I'm going to call this one...